Please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. The liturgical year of the Roman Catholic Church is often referred to as the Year of Grace, meaning that people should celebrate their unbounded love of God at all times, in all places. The year begins with the first Sunday of Advent, four weeks before Christmas. These four weeks are dedicated to preparing spiritually for the birth of Jesus into human existence as both God and man. The calendar dates of the liturgical times and seasons vary from year to year and are published by the Church in the Ordo, an annual calendar that gives directions for each day's Mass. The liturgical calendar is best illustrated in cyclic form to convey the infinite celebration of God's love. It is the custom for every Catholic diocese or a group of dioceses to have a directory also called Ordo Recitandi, annually printed for clerical use. It is a calendar for the year in which concise directions are printed for each day for praying the Divine Office and Mass of that day. The calendar usually indicates days of fasting, eligibility for special indulgences, days of devotion, and other information that may be convenient for the clergy to know. The Ordo is issued with the authority of the bishop and is binding on the clergy in that jurisdiction. The liturgical year is made up of six times and seasons. Advent, four weeks of preparation before the celebration of Jesus' birth. Christmas, recalling the nativity of Jesus Christ and his manifestation to the peoples of the world. Lent, a six-week period of penance before Easter. Sacred Paschal Tridium the holiest three days of the Church's year, where the Christian people recall the suffering, death and resurrection of Jesus. Easter, 50 days of joyful celebration of the Lord's resurrection from the dead and His sending forth of the Holy Spirit, the Pentecost. Ordinary time, divided into two sections, one span of four to eight weeks after Christmas time and another lasting about six months after Easter time, wherein the faithful consider the fullness of Jesus' teachings and works among his people. This series of seasons, each with their own mood, theological emphasis and modes of prayer, can be signified by different ways of decorating churches, color of paraments and vestments for clergy, scriptural readings, themes for preaching. Distinct liturgical colors are used in connection with different seasons of the liturgical year. The scripture passages for each Sunday and weekdays of the year are specified in the lectionary. The liturgical seasons determines where feast days, including celebration of saints, are to be observed, and which portions of scripture are to be read, either in an annual cycle or in a cycle of several years. After the Protestant Reformation, Anglicans and Lutherans continued to follow the lectionary of the Roman Rite. Following a decision of the Second Vatican Council, the Catholic Church 
revised that lectionary in 1969, adopting a three-year cycle of readings for Sundays and a two-year cycle for weekdays. A lectionary is a book that contains a collection of scripture readings appointed for a given day or occasion. There are subtypes such as a gospel lectionary or an epistolary with the readings from the New Testament epistles. Adaptations of the revised Roman Rite lectionary were adopted by Protestants leading to the publication in 1994 of the revised Common Lectionary for Sundays and Major Feasts, which is now used by many Protestant denominations, including also Methodists, Reform United, etc. This has led to a greater awareness of the traditional Christian year among Protestants especially among mainline denominations. Please go to YouTube Retirement Mentality channel for your favorite playlists on the Catholic Christian teachings and other uplifting materials.